What's up guys, it's James here from Parts Express. I am here with the SBA 250 to show you how to get your sub amp hooked up with a connection called high level in and out. If you're hooking up your subwoofer directly to these terminals labeled two speakers, disconnect them and get them plugged into these connections right here in the back. Let me show you why. If you notice here, we have from amplifiers terminals and to speakers terminals. What a lot of people would assume is that you deliver sound to the analog input and run speaker wires from the two speakers terminals straight to your subwoofer. Now, since this is your sub amp, that's an understandable mistake. But if you do it this way, it'll actually produce no sound and imply that the sub amp is broken when it's not. Any product with high level in and outs is gonna work as a through for your regular stereo speakers. Instead of running from the output right into your satellite speakers, you're gonna run from the output of your receiver into the from amplifier terminals, and then from the two speakers, you're gonna run more lines right back to your stereo satellite speakers. The sound will come in as stereo, hit the crossover, which will allow the low frequency sounds, which you can set here, to be sent straight to the subwoofer. The rest of the sound will come back out to the two speakers in stereo to your speakers in your regular home system. But what about the subwoofer? Where does that hook up? Like I said, in the back, there will be two wires specifically to hook into the subwoofer. All of the sounds from the crossover will now go straight to the sub and the rest will go to your stereo speakers. This is the correct way to get the subwoofer hooked up to your sub amp and to run all of your regular sound through the sub amp back into your satellite speakers. As a heads up, some theater systems are gonna come with a crossover already built in, meaning they're gonna pull out the low level first. If this is the case for you, you're gonna to wanna to still hook up your subwoofer to the sub amp the same way, but you're gonna to wanna to run a single analog line from the sub out of the receiver into the analog input of the sub amp. Since this is a mono signal, a single plug in the right channel will work perfectly. So long as everything is hooked up properly, you should be good to go. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to check out all of our how-to and product videos. If you want to pick up any of these items and so much more, visit PartsExpress.com.